Let's get to the forecast now. Texas weather expert meteorologist Jeff Jamison warming up like it was two weeks ago again yeah. now. Here we go, and we're going to get even hotter for oh, next really? week, unfortunately. First week of September, but it's going to feel like the middle of summer coming up as we get into the work week. A shortened work week ahead, of course, as we finish out a holiday weekend. Temperature's not bad right now. We're in the mid 70s in Collin County. We had a decent day. Uh, Temperature has only managed to climb into the 80s today, but tomorrow we'll be back into the lower to mid 90s. And there's no rain in the forecast for tomorrow. I'm keeping things completely dry for Sunday. Today, though, we had quite a bit of rain, especially east of Dallas. We had a big complex of storms. That dumped a real, real uh, uh, heavy downpours and a lot of rain in Rockwall and Terrell, for example, over an inch and a half of rain. Now, we did not see much at all in the immediate Dallas Fort Worth area. No rain at DFW today, but we do end the month of August with 2.44 inches of rain at DFW, and that actually ends the month on a surplus. This is also the end of what we call meteorological summer. So that's June, July, and August. That's what we consider summer in the weather department. 7.35 inches of rain for the summer, and that is just a little bit below normal. And for the year, we're still running a surplus of about three inches of rain. Here's the latest tropical storm warnings and watches, hurricane warnings and watches out for Dorian. Uh, because it's so close to the northern Bahamas, we're looking at a lot of hurricane warnings there. And now tropical storm watches in effect for parts of the east coast of Florida. This is because we'll start to pick up tropical storm force winds in the next couple of days from Port, Fort Pierce down to West Palm Beach and Fort Lauderdale. And I do imagine that uh, more of the east coast of Florida will be placed under even tropical storm warnings by tomorrow. A category four storm still, but it's on the verge of becoming a five. And as we showed you earlier, the movement is to the west now, but then eventually curving to the north. And we could be talking about a landfall, not in Florida, but maybe Georgia or South Carolina coming up by the middle of next week. We'll keep an eye on that and more on Dorian in the next half hour. 93 for tomorrow, mostly sunny Sunday. Labor Day looks hot as well, 95, and then mid to upper 90s for most of next week with mostly sunny skies as you go back to work and school.